Danielle, uh, congratulations on the big win uh, and the goal. Uh, I've got two questions for you. First off, you know, coming off, you know, what was a tough week, um, a lot of change, you know, you weren't able to build off the momentum from LAFC uh, to come back and fight back on this one. What did that mean to you guys? And second, uh, you were able to score a goal. Walk us through that and walk us through your celebration a little bit. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, so, yeah, the, the week was tough. Um, it's an interesting one going through that that whole bit. You know, we just wanted to get back on the field uh, after that LAFC game, but you know, we did what we did on Wednesday, and I think it was it was good to show support. And um, you know, we had to come back and, and get ready for this game, another California rivalry. And uh, yeah, no, it feels it feels good to get that one, get another W, uh, be on top of that. So we're pretty pleased right now with that, and we just got to continue going. Uh, for me, I'm I'm happy to get on the score sheet again. Uh, doing it in a win this time is great, obviously. Um, yeah, I like I like getting goals in some of these first games at these stadiums, so uh, it was good. But the celebration is actually uh, it was a birthday wish to uh, my buddy Morgan. Uh, so happy birthday to you! And then also I meant to do one last week, but uh, I think Zubac stole my goal last week. So uh, that's also going to my fiance Ali. Happy birthday last week, and uh, that's what it was for. Happy birthday to them. Thank you, Dan. The next question is for Josh Guessman. Josh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Dan, it, you know, this defense seems like it's been turning a little bit of a corner. I know that you guys allowed two goals tonight, uh, but when you look at the chances, it seems like you really limited San Jose's chances. What has been, you know, the big key in these last couple of games to, to really tighten up the defense? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously uh, a little disappointing to, to give up two goals tonight, but, you know, the first one, I think we all could have done better on. Uh, the second one, there's things we could have obviously done, but it's a it's a long shot. He put it right in the corner. You just got to tip your hat sometimes. Um, but yeah, I think we're more organized, you know, um, us in the back line, but as a team all together, we're keeping our lines tight. Like I said last week, um, we're talking more, we're staying organized and, and shifting better. Um, so it's nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, just kind of what I've been preaching all week is, is we went back to basics. Uh, we had to start from the ground up after Orlando, and and we're just working through those building blocks, and uh, we're seeing some progress. So, continue on from here, and and hopefully, uh, you know, we won't give up those two next time. We'll keep it back at zero. Thanks, Dan. Thanks. Next question is to John Rojas. John, go ahead. Thanks, Vicky. Dan, it looks like the team played well all through the 90 minutes. They had control. It pl it played well. Mm -hmm. You guys played well, but. It looks like you suffered too much to get the victory. Why is that? Uh, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that, but uh, it was it was tough. I mean, that's a tough team. They have a lot of energy. They play an interesting style of soccer. Um, you know, there's a lot of man marking. It's it's hectic. They want it to be kind of crazy, and that's how it got at times. Um, I think we we played pretty well tonight. We we kept the ball as much as we could. Uh, being back in our, our home field, it's a big field. We were able to use the space. It played well tonight. Um, you know, we tried to take advantage of spots. I think Pavon had an amazing game, and uh, we tried to keep the ball moving. So I, I think they wanted it to be crazy. I think, you know, no game out here is going to be just super easy. Um, but I do think that we, we played well. I think we were on top of the game. We, we were on the front foot. And, uh, I mean, dominated or not, I thought, I thought we played a good game and, and deserved to come out on top. Next question is to Giovanni Garcia. Giovanni, go ahead. Hey, Dan, congrats, uh, congratulations on that goal. Thank you. Um, I just want to ask you about, um, it seems like the, the, the key uh, for this team is really the defense and the midfield. Um, I mean, you guys right now, you, you guys don't have a fully healthy uh, Jonah Dos Santos, but talk to me about the defense and the midfield and how they've been playing the last two weeks. Yeah, I think you hit it on the head there. Um, you know, it's not just us in the back four. It's, it's our whole team shape, and uh, the guys in the midfield have been doing a great job. Uh, Perry and Joe starting the game in the center. They're just staying tight together, and it's helping us. Uh, it's helping keep the balls from coming into our forwards' feet and uh, getting behind us. So I think everyone, like I said, is just staying really organized. We're staying compact. Um, there's something you might have seen today and we're working on is staying higher, staying tight on the ball. Um, and I think it's helping us. And, and yeah, I mean, if our defense is, is playing well and limiting chances, I don't, I don't know the stats tonight, but I don't think they had 
too many big chances. Um, but if we're doing that, you know, we've got guys who are going to score. We're going to create chances. Um, so our forwards are doing a good job with that. So, uh, yeah, mid midfield's definitely helping us out. But I think it's just going back to, to basics here. We have one final question to Josh Getzman. Josh, go ahead. Dan, uh, Julian Araujo has sort of been growing by leaps and bounds here in these uh, in these first couple of games back. Uh, started at midfield and then eventually closed everything down at, at right back. What are you seeing from uh, the development of his game? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, we've seen it in the last couple of years with this kid. He's, he's ready to step in there and make a difference. He's uh, getting his opportunity this year and he's taking it. Um, you know, he's not a right winger, but he's he's doing what he can. And to be truthful, it's good that, you know, him and Rolf can switch at times and they can take breaks when they need it. And then as you saw at the end of the game, he, he stepped back and did a great job playing defense, uh, even though he was pretty gassed. So uh, he's doing a great job. I think you're going to see him stay, uh, take huge steps this year. He already has. Um, so that's one to definitely watch for. And, and, you know, we're trying to coach him up. We're trying to help him and lead him because he's got a bright future.